Today's the first for this channel. Don't go away. Hello and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I'm Paul. And I'm Reggie, coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Today is a very special build and a first on this channel. Yes, indeed. It's my first ever diecast restoration, and it's just in time for the Three Blind Mice Paint It Pink Challenge. That's right. Reggie has finally agreed to do a build, and here it is. Not only am I doing this build for the Paint It Pink Challenge, I'll be donating my first finished build for our charity auction. That's right. Reggie and I are auctioning off our builds with 100% of the proceeds going to Susan G. Coleman of Nevada. I'll tell you how to get this awesome gift package at the end of the video. That's more than enough talking. Let's get building. All right, so this is the truck that I'm going to do for the Paint It Pink. It's going to be a pumpkin truck because I love Halloween. And I thought it would be fun to do something Halloween-y. It's a matchbox steak truck, which I don't know what that means, but it was made in England, which is interesting because I just had my genealogy done and my genes actually were from, I'm from England, so it's kind of cool. So that's what I'm going to do. Because all we're doing is bending the base. There you go. There you go. Okay. There you go. Bend that base back a little bit. There oh, it's very bendy. Very yeah. bendy. Okay. Put that to the side. Now you want to take the glass and the base off, the plastic thing off there. So you got to look and figure out how that's put in there. Try not to break anything. This is drill. This is okay. We'll get that out when we get the stake bed off first. I don't know how the stake looks like the stake bed slides backwards. There you go. And then you can kind of do that. And then now there you go. Okay, put that aside. And now, yes, you're gonna have to drill the rivet roof. So drill that to free the glass. I'll start by doing the stuff I'm least comfortable with, drilling and power tools. I was so worried I would drill right through the roof of the truck and mess it all up, but I ended up getting it done. scratching on the front of the... That's fine. We can fix that. We were going to have to take care of the windshield anyhow. We're going to uh, sand and, and paint it. It's out. Okay. Let's see. Because that didn't need much. Now take it off and look. Does it look nice and square and clean and dimpled? And under it so that it'll focus good. And let them see your nice little drilled out posts. Okay. There's already stuff coming out of it. It's just a tiny little dab. And when you turn it, you don't even have to squeeze it. It'll just leak right out. And it's a little yellow. You can see it, actually. And then you put here, too? Yep. And that's it for that. You're done with that. Okay. Now to drill out the post, Paul's favorite part. And then try and make sure you're nice and square to the post and just go nice and slow and steady. And that looks really good. Better than I do. I struggle with this part. Okay. Now your goal is to just keep it square and steady to the post. Okay, so go ahead and tap the hole. The 
this part goes in here. Mm -hmm. This is where your husband always forgets to do this. It's been a running joke on this channel that I'm always forgetting to do this stuff. People are willing me not to forget it during my builds. They're going, please, don't, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Okay, push and turn and just... It's tight. It's, supposed it's to gonna be tight. Okay, now if you let go, it should stand there now. See? And then now you can just reposition your hand Push and turn. Try and keep straight to the hole and just let it thread itself in. Piece of cake, huh? And this screwdriver, okay? So get two screws out and use that little weird screwdriver and screw a screw into each post. No, I really didn't enjoy this part and I'm glad to be past it. But I got it done and I'm starting to feel like I can actually do this. I wanted to get my nails done. <laughs> I'm not so sure what the hullabaloo is about the ooze, but Paul sure does enjoy it. And what do I do, just? <laughs> just drop it in there the way you think will look coolest. This is the funnest part, right here. And then enjoy watching it sink into the ooze. It may not sink too far down. I think there's some other cars in there. So you can put the lid back on it and give it a little shake to help settle it back down because I think it's sitting on top of some other cars. Now that is called citrus strip and it's a, a na natural paint stripper. And shake it? Yeah, give it a little bit. Just, yeah, to help settle it down. Yeah, there you go. Okay, put it out of the way. Let's take a look at that body and see what we have to deal with. Now, you're in luck, okay? This body doesn't need to be painted. That means we do <coughs> not need to take these wheels off. The wheels are in good shape. The base doesn't need to be painted. All we gotta do is fix that axle that some crazy person bent. I won't name names, but her initials are Reggie. And we'll fix that axle. We're going to fix that corner that I bent. <laughs> okay. So you can mock me for that. And then we're going to polish that. Okay. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay. Go ahead. So with some pliers, I straighten out the base and the axle. It all bends pretty easily. I just noticed Paul has a whizzer on his desk. Okay. You ever got a whizzer stuck in your hair? No. Tell me you don't know anybody who did that. Several times. <laughs> Get the whizzer and show them what you're talking about. You don't have to stick it in your hair, just so. This. Oh my goodness. Getting that and what? getting How it too close times? to your hair. If you're a girl with long hair, I'm telling you, there are girls out there with long hair that have gotten wizards in my age group stuck in their hair. I can imagine getting it stuck in your hair the first time, but I would think... Boys, even. <laughs> Boys will do it on purpose. My gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead and clean that. I'm trying to clean up the base now using the lime oil and water mix. It really did work very I'm good. Over the paper towel so it doesn't splash. And hopefully we're not going to melt the wheels. Okay, it should start to bubble. 
and no, it, is, you, it is rubbing. Can you see the dark spots versus the light spots? What you're looking for is the dark spots to fade to almost nothing. We don't want to leave it in there too long, maybe 30, 45 seconds. And then you'll use your little scissors, get rid of with your scissors, to pluck it out of there. As soon as you think it looks, we, if it goes too far, it'll start to get dark again. I don't know what I'm looking for. Let's take a look. I'm looking for the dark spots to go away. See, I look at, like the front bumper there. And we're looking for it to all look kind of whitish. So just keep watching the dark spots to look like they're getting light. Originally, this was going to just be a pumpkin truck, but now I have altered my plan to make it a pink pumpkin truck, whatever that may Once be. Once you're satisfied, then what we'll do is we'll, we'll pluck it out, we'll run it and wash it, and come back and wire brush it. Your dog is down there. Like, what are we doing here? She's like, this is not our area. Can you move the bubbles with the scissors? Lift it up out of there. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so let's move this and just put it on the paper towel and let's go. How did that happen? She just jumped up. Okay, put away the, the juice. Dry your car and your scissors. I'm gonna put the scissors in the tool pile. Okay, put the scissors over in the tool pile. Dry your base. And throw your paper towel away and I'll take the cardboard from it. Grab that and start brushing the hell out of the base, not the, the inside side, the outside side and the grill. So brush it all real good and it should shine up pretty nice and then we'll break out the polish. And for the viewers, I want you to pay attention to this. Notice the table's not shaking. The table is shaking as she's doing this, but I did move the camera as we talked about the live stream, and look at that. It's holding perfectly steady. So that really paid off. I'm still over here chuckling about the wizard stuck in the hair. Yeah, those are some nightmare days. Running around crying while somebody's trying to cut a wizard out of your hair. <laughs> Leave this little wizard hole in your head. Hey, listen, don't unplug my camera, you goof. Run into another little girl with half a ponytail. You both are just like wizard incident, huh? Believe me, there are little girls out there. That well, know probably exactly. not so much today. They don't make. They, I know they make something. Like I'm talking that. about in my era. Oh, I know. I'm just saying today that now they. Uh, I don't let kids have any fun. No. I take everything away. But you had long hair at one time. I never stuck a whizzer on my head. We didn't really mean to do it either. It just, uh, you know, I forget what I'm holding in my hand at times.
Also, you're pretty close to the ground. Sometimes long hair is on the ground when you're... Is that why you go with short hair now? Because you are scarred by wizards? No. I go with short hair just because I like it. It's convenient. And now it just takes too long to grow back. Okay. And just put the lid on that and set it out of the way somewhere. I don't know how much to use. Yeah, that's fine. You can always have more as you go. And so just start brushing it in. It gets kind of flickery and splickly, so just, you know, deal with it. Oh, it stinks. I think it has a rather pleasant odor. <sighs> and we won't put the flitz away right away because we're going to need it for the windshield, too. Because we've got to sand and polish the windshield. You don't need to do the inside there because nobody will see that part. Just outside the grills. And also, this is will do the wheels too. This will shine up the plastic of the wheels and the hubs also. So do the whole thing there real quick. Towel, towel, because it'll get into the grooves better. So right now you're just taking off as much as you can get off. And you scoop a little bit up on there and you smear it in all, everywhere on that base real good. And then you polish it off again with the towel. You smear? You smear. Women smear. And this is a, a museum grade wax that they protect like their, their expensive jewelries and, and coins and things like that with. And uh, I use it on coin rings. I use it on the bases. and. Stuff like that. And this will keep it from tarnishing again. Now I turn my attention to the glass. No, I'm not enjoying it at all. <laughs> uh, I guess it is harder than I thought. It's just not nothing that I would. Oh, this is driving me crazy. <laughs> you want to explain that for them? I don't like chalky, dusty, and then whatever that is on my fingers. I don't know. What's on your fingers? Oh, that's mm. residual from the polish I and stuff. I think it's the polish. Yeah. Oh, shit. Don't break it, wherever it's at. I don't it's know. On, it's, is it on your foot? No, it shot past me. I'm oh. afraid to roll the... I know. It went this way. <laughs> this is called the car carpet monster. Oh, it's right here. Where? By my foot. It's called the carpet monster when that happens. It eats oh. everything. Polish and buff. Polish and buff. That's the sound. And you've got to get that inside one real good too where you sand it. Okay. Oh, Hot that bubble. Dip the whole thing? Yep. And then dab it on the paper towel to let it suck off that extra. Move it to another spot. Keep doing that. And then put it in the onion saver and close that up. With the glass done, I fish out the body, Perfect. wash it, and we can now test my painting skills. Open the goo. 
reach in, fish out your truck, and then set it down on the paper towel. And then I'll take reach the, in with these. Yes, and then I'll take the paper towel and cardboard and the truck and go wash it. Let it drain first. So let a bunch of that slurm off. It's still got paint on it. It's gonna fall right off. You can see it's actually sliding off with the goo. And then get out a brass bristle brush again and give it a good brushing. Just that removes any last little bits of paint and just kind of make sure the body is all nice and smooth and good to go. I'm not a great painter well, and back, I'm not confident in my painting skills, so, so I'm not sure how any of this is going to come out. Back? Yes, right about there, like that, about 12 inches away. There you go, like that. Make sure you're getting them all. Okay, now stop. Turn the pumpkins. First, I'll and apply primer to all the too. parts. Outside, keep moving, keep moving. A lot, a lot of movement. Okay, that's as dark as it should be. You shouldn't go any heavier than that. Yes, this is my first time ever using an airbrush. I'm going to make my truck pink with a white bed. I have a surprise in store for the pumpkins, though. This is called a medium coat, and what you're doing is you're really just getting the color established, not so much the smoothness of the paint. The smoothness comes in the final paint layers, which are called the wet coats. Yeah, like that. There you go. I don't even know if the paint's getting Yeah, I can see it. You should be able to see the stream of paint. Can you see it? I can, but it doesn't even look like it's covering. Because it's very light. That's how it's supposed to be. That's good. You keep it going all along. Yes, you do. Let me see. Perfect. This paint job looks amazing. It did so good. You don't want to just say that. I'm not just saying. Wait until you see it. The roof looks like a mirror. I have decided to do the pumpkins in a bunch of different colors. To me, it adds some whimsy and fun. I'm going to have to put another coat on the orange. And I see you mixed it real good. Yeah, it's all it's been like that since I bought it. And then tomorrow I'll cast Dave's hump panels for it. Dave? So I can get those in the mail. Don't hold it from the side. Yeah. How am I gonna hold it from the bottom and slide this in there? Just carefully, and then get a hold of it. Okay, now you can hold it from the stake bed. Okay. Now, take the screws out of the base and set them to the side.
it already looks amazing. There you go. Hook the front into place, lower the back down, make sure you're lined up over the posts, and yeah. then kind of push it down. There you go. Now put the screws back into place. I'm close to being done with this and it's a big relief. This has been preying on my mind. So we are now trying to put this together and finally get a chance to see what I've done. Darn it. It'll be fine. We're going to just touch it up and it'll be fine. Okay, there you have it. Your truck is done. All you need to do is load the bed with your pumpkins and we'll take some glamour shots. What do you think? It looks good. I think you did a great job. Well, there you have it. My very first die-cast build, a fun and bright pink pumpkin truck for the Three Blind Mice Paint It Pink Challenge. In addition to doing these build videos to raise awareness about the battle against breast cancer, Reggie and I are going to be auctioning off our builds along with some very cool stuff on eBay. 100% of the proceeds go directly to Susan G. Komen, in Nevada. So bid high and bid with your heart. To bid, to bid click the pinned link in the comment section and bid away. The minimum bid is $100, but trust me, this package will be worth way more than that. And remember, it's for a very good cause. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and be sure to click the notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you all thought about my build. Time for us to go. Just remember this. Every sunrise is an invitation for us to arise and brighten someone's day. Until next time, this is Paul. And this is Reggie saying, be, be good. good.